my god march 2020 was awesome it was really really mind-blowing i mean it was awesome 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 that was the best wedding i've ever been to that was like how it all started okay i have known the couple since 2019 uh, back then, the bride, Diola, called to order a birthday cake for her husband, then fiancé, right? Um, so that was my first encounter with them. We made the cake. She, was, she loved it, and the husband also loved it. So um, that's how I got to know the couple. So fast forward to, uh, I think, December 2019. Meanwhile, after we, made, we had made a series of birthday for them in the bakery and all of that so to myself and my team we're praying for them to get married you know because uh that was the first time i got to know about them about their love about who they are and all of that so we're praying for them to get married because they come across as couple who is really really in love i mean their love tripped us everybody in my bakery we were tripped by their love and you know people who will go to any mile to express love and affection to each other so in a subtle way we're praying for them to get married when I got the phone call in December 2019 that the wedding was going to happen, oh my God, I was happy. <laughs> you know, we were legit happy for them. And then uh, she told me it's a real themed wedding and I want a castle cake. Okay, in my mind, I'm like, okay, castle cake. Oh yeah, now we'll do it. <laughs> she told me to send inspiration and all of that. So I went online to like search for like elaborate castle cake, you know, because she had stated she wanted it elaborate. So I sent picture and then she kept saying, nope, nope, not enough. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> where are we going? So, you know, eventually I think after a few days, I had sent up to like 10 pictures or so of elaborate castle cake. I just got that picture from her and I'm like, OMG, it was indeed an elaborate one. But I mean, the, my first impression was somebody did it so I can do it, you know. Like, all through my career, I've never thought that uh, there's such a job so big or too big for me to handle, you know. Yes, it will take a lot, a lot of brain work, a lot of challenges and all of that, which I'm going to get into later. But, I mean, immediately I saw it, I knew I could do it. Hmm, understanding the design, of course. <laughs> I studied the picture for nights, for days, and oh my god, it literally became stuck in my head. So, um, first of all, I knew I wasn't going to do it alone, obviously. I, I wanted perfection, and of course, it's a, it's a building, it's a castle. You don't just say, oh, I'm going to add this plus this and it's going to be, it's going to be perfect. You know, I knew I needed somebody good in mathematics or um, an architect, so to speak, right, to be able to execute the project. So, you know, first of all, I looked at it, counted how many pillars I could see, you know, because looking at the picture is different from actually bringing something to life, you know, because... When you see a picture, you see it from just one dimension. And of course, to this cake, there were four dimensions, right? So I had to bring my own creativity in. We had to do a lot of calculations. We had to think of um, the, the, the best things to do, the best you know, way to go around it, that the weight will not be too much for the cakes to bear, how to incorporate the cakes in between the, the long, um, pillars of sugar work and all of that so i mean that took that took weeks that took that it took weeks and of course i had to add like a one-on-one uh, -on -one chat with an architect we had to come up with a plan every structure and every item you see on the cake was calculated it was a lot of mathematics you know because um there were like different layers and different dimensions to it. At the end of the day, you need, we needed to be able to stand in front of it and say, okay, this makes sense structurally, you know, and all of that. So, hmm. 
Hmm. <laughs> Challenges. Hmm. As you may, of course, I'm sure, if you look at the picture and you think so deep about it, you would know that such a project like that cannot go without challenges. Ha, ah, where do I start from? I have a long list of challenges. Where do I start from? Okay, the first was, uh, initially, the wedding was supposed to be in uh, April, but uh, because of the lockdown, that couldn't happen. So they shifted to December. So I had ordered for a lot of things that I will be needing um, for the cake online. And then, I mean, the lockdown, things never came, things did not come about six to seven items. I did not receive them. I could not trace them because uh, when the lockdown started, you know, all my thinking was, you know, because I was tracking and all of that, it would be with the local post office here. And then after the lockdown, I can just go there to pick it up and all of that. So after the lockdown, I went to the post office to receive some of my items. And it was just about two that came. I followed and followed up and, you know, they said they didn't receive it. I went back to where I ordered from. They said they had delivered to Nigeria. I mean about seven expensive items got lost in uh, in post stage because of challenge number two. <laughs> oh my god this is a very funny one so looking at the wedding cake of course you would agree with me that they cannot cut it with uh, a knife so in my mind now uh, let me order a sword you know because i of course you can't just walk into a store and get one around here so, and I'm, of course, used to ordering things online and all of that. So, let me order a sword for them to cut the cake. I mean, it was part of uh, the items on my list of things to order. So, I mean, I do a lot of ordering online. So, I'm already used to how the whole thing works and all of that. So, I went online. I saw a nice one. I read the description. If, you know, passed, um, passed every uh, mark and all of that. I placed an order. It was expensive, as you may think. When it came, hmm, lo and behold, I received foam. I mean, like plastic. See? Like, <laughs> I mean, when I lifted it at first, I'm like, okay, I, I, like I didn't expect this thing to be this light. So I sort of broke it, you know, because there was so much uh, disbelief for me, right? So I broke the tip. And it was plastic inside, foam, like layers of foam and plastic. So that was like a little setback for me because I, I thought, you know, I've ordered my sword and um, that is it. I have it now. So I had to like made other plans. You know, I mean, thank God for um, one of the grooms that I did um, a wedding cake for. Funny enough, the wedding was a week to this wedding. He told me, oh, I'm going to cut my wedding cake with a sword. And I'm like, oh, are you in the military? And he said, yes. And I'm like, please, can I, can I please borrow it? You know, I have an event. I really need it. It was skeptical. It was like, ah, no, I can't give you. If it gets missing, I'm going to get in trouble. I had to assure, assure him. I had to beg him. I had to plead with him with, I mean, everything. And I, he gave me the most fancy sword I've ever seen. I mean, it was gold and black. It was really really nice so uh that's the story story about uh my number two challenge number three was uh, the water fountain i mean i prepared though i prepared a lot <laughs> all this all these um challenges is not even as a, a result of lack of preparation so i mean i was looking for a miniature water fountain that could fit with the structure of the castle I searched and searched, I found. It was uh, an American product. So I ordered it from America. So when the fountain came, I mean, it was in the box, it was nice, it was intact and everything. So I kept it in a safe corner that a day to the wedding, I'm going to bring it out and uh, we are going to put it on the wedding cake. So um, I think a week to the wedding, when we were doing, uh, I mean, all of the calculations of the spacing and all of that. I was thinking the space I left for the fountain was a bit small. So I was thinking of adjusting that. So I had to unwrap the fountain to see if um, it would fit with the space that um, I provided. So 
<laughs> that's how I poured what I follow. I mean, it came with a manual. I followed all instructions, poured the required amount of water, and I powered it. And then it went boom. Like, it, it literally went off. Everywhere was smelling of burnt electricity stuff and all of that. It was burnt. I mean, this was a week to the wedding, exactly a week to the wedding. First of all, if I want to order another one, where do I start from? It's not going to arrive on time. Secondly, I couldn't, it's not a product that I could find around. So I had to make it work. I started panicking. I, I was all over the place. And, you know, we had to call an electrician to come and check it out for us. So, uh, well, we're hoping that what got burnt in it will be something that we could easily replace, like buy a replacement for and all of that. <laughs> Apparently, with American um, elect electrical product, you need to... <laughs> I was supposed to use, is it step down or step up for it? You know, because the electricity current over there and the one here is not the same thing. So you can't just buy something from over there and plug it directly to the, to the um, socket, which was what I did. And of course, the thing went off. But luckily, after, I think after a day, we discovered that what went wrong, we could buy a replacement. Then we had to do, do like a rewiring of the entire thing to fit in with uh, the Nigerian standard. And all of that. Challenge number four was the door. Well, I mean, I knew the cake was big and, you know, I have always known that the door could be a challenge. But, I mean, it's easier planned than done. So uh, when we started decorating, we had to, even before we started decorating, we had to take measurements of the door to make sure that whatever we are making is not bigger than the door, right? So we had to literally fit everything to, to the size of the door. The ones that were going to be bigger, we had to make it like a puzzle so that, you know, we just put it together at the venue. Even at that, we had to still remove the door because... It wasn't easy to lift because it was a lot of weight and it required a lot of people to carry. So we had to remove the door. We had to remove the demarcation in our bakery. We had to remove the front door to be able to get the cake to the car. Everything we used on the cake was sourced from five different countries. We did a lot of buying from the UK. We did some buying from America. China, UAE, and of course Nigeria, so five countries. I was most nervous about the delivery, the delivery of the entire thing. I mean, how, what the bride would think of it, how people would see it, if um, it's truly going to take my business to another level, most especially how the bride would see it because she's my client and I mean one, one thing stood out with uh, this particular client she's never seen me do something that big she's never seen me do something that elaborate and yet she was she had peace of mind she believed so much that I could do it she never doubted from day one she never doubted so I was nervous about meeting up with um, her expectation Basically. I wanted people who are easy to work with, people who could work without supervision. That was very important to me because um, sometimes I get tired and I would need somebody to take over and all of that. So I wanted somebody who's um, whose work is equally nice and flawless. People who could um, work without my supervision, basically, so that when I'm taking a break, they'll be able to understand the concept and carry on with the decorations and all of that. And, oh, my God blessed me with the best team ever. I, I want to use this medium to say a big shout out to everybody from um, Abubakar to Phil to Kayla to um, Shifi Taste, to um, 
Cakes by CC, Mr. Babs, my team, oh, Cakes by LA staff, they went over and beyond. They, everybody took it like it was their project. Like, not even for one uh, moment did I think I was in this alone. Like, we were all in need together up until the last minute. It was, it was, it was incredible. The first few hours, I was trying to keep up. Ah, anywhere this cake goes, I will follow, I will comment, I will... <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so when Bella and I just posted the cake and then they said, um, uh, of course, we wrote facts about the cake on our page. You know, I wrote the number of days it took to accomplish and all of that. And then they said, oh, it took uh, four months. So a lot of people read it. They read that statement wrong. I went to the comment section to read you know, because I wanted to see what everybody's saying and all of that. So a lot of people really got that wrong. So, you know, when they see that, oh, you started planning or you started uh, putting things together, like I worked on the cake for four months, they thought I had baked the cake four months ago. Of course, that's not possible. Somebody will not pay so much for a cake. I, I won't even make a cake that huge, even if it were free, and deliver a steel cake. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. The major process of the entire thing, we had to do planning. We had to do a lot of planning. We had to do architectural design, which took so long. This is included in my calculation of the timing, right? We had to make sugar flowers. Oh my God, for every sugar flower that was on that cake was individually attached, like petal by petal. I'm going to uh, post a video of it. It was individually attached, petal by petal. And we made thousands of sugar flowers. That took, the sh making the sugar flowers alone took four months. And that is not even the baking, you understand? Sugar flowers is just, I seem sugar. Like, sure. <laughs> that's like one of the hardest things to do in cake decorations, you know, because we made thousands of them and they were handmade by us, by my staff, by me, you know. So the sugar flowers alone, and sugar flour is not cake, it's not baking, it's just made of icing sugar. The cake itself was baked maybe like a little, a little less than two weeks to the wedding, like maybe some eight days to the wedding. I mean, and for him, as a matter of fact, we baked over 36 layers of cake, right? And uh, I mean, of course, for a project like that, you don't go baking red velvet, vanilla and whatnot. It was fruit cake. Fruit cake has like a really, really long shelf life. No chemical was added at all. If anybody knows cake by LA in Abuja, they know I don't pre put uh, preservative in my cake. Nope, I don't. The preservative that comes with um, free cake is alcohol. And uh, I'm also going to put, put up a video of that, like a lot of alcohol to keep the cake really nice and uh, moist. And, you know, it also helps keep the cake not going bad. So if you know a lot about cake, of course, I'm sure you understand that fact. Or even if you don't know so much about cake, you can check it up online. A fruit cake can last for as long as you want to keep it. Like for as long as you want to keep it. And at room temperature, fruit cake can last for up to six weeks. At room temperature, that is not even putting it in fridge at all. You know, it lasts that long. So of course, the cake was not baked four months ago. Like who would do that? Fast forward to two weeks earlier. I was thinking, oh, we all wake up at 4 a.m. in the morning, the day of the wedding. We go to ICC and start our setup by 4 a.m. And then somebody in my team suggested, oh, why not let's do an all night? At least, even if the cake is standing by 12 a.m., we will all have peace of mind and know that everything is going smoothly and, you know, instead of being rushed and all of that, that we should do an all night setup. So, of course, I bought into the idea and I'm like, oh, okay, that's nice. The best that will happen is by 1 a.m. midnight, our cake is standing tall and we all can go and sleep, chill, and then look good for the wedding and all of that. <laughs> Little did I know, like, <laughs> it's as if I underestimated that part a lot. So, first of all, we started moving from the bakery. We started moving all the items from the bakery 4 o'clock on Friday. That's 4 p.m. on Friday. Lift, carrying the cake alone, the bottom tier, took 16 people. We had to go and look for like 16 powerful people 
to lift the cake that part i was really really nervous you know because after months and months of working you don't want things going wrong at that moment because whatever will go wrong you cannot fix it i mean and that would be a very very huge blow <laughs> i was nervous you needed to have seen me that day when they were lifting the cake i was so nervous so they lifted the cake it was challenging we removed doors it took more than 30 minutes from inside my bakery my workspace to the car and the car was packed as close as possible you know because they had to like deliberate when they started moving they had to pause to say turn it this way turn it that way i mean that took a lot so um i think we we used five cars we used five cars delivery took five cars including a bus and a tundra and the bus had to do four more trips after the five cars <laughs> so you know finally we got to icc we had to set up the crates that's the the foundation of the structure that's where all the weight is going on and all of that we set up the crate we lifted the bottom tier i think by 8 30 pm my calculation was the setup was going to take four was going to take four hours but on the fourth hour, we had only lifted the bottom tier. So we lifted the bottom tier. I mean, that took a lot of effort. I can't even go into the details. It took a lot of nerve-wracking effort to lift the cake on the platform. So we lifted the bottom cake. We lifted the next one and then the smaller ones. And then, you know, we had to put the, the castle together, the pillars together. As at the time we were putting the pillars together, we realized that five of the lights was not working. Lights that we had test run in the bakery before leaving. Everything was nice and shiny. We got to the venue and that's how five of it would not work. It won't come on. So we had to do a rewiring for that. I mean, finally at, I think, yeah, finally at around uh, 2.30 a.m., that's 2.30 a.m. Saturday morning. My castle was standing. We had not finished, but I mean, you could see the whole thing. Everything was nice and bright. My fountain was flowing. All the details and all of that was on it. So we just needed to do some um, adjustments, finishing touches, arrange flowers, and um, all those like extra little touches, dotting the eyes and crossing the T which we did and finally by 4 a.m we finished oh my god that was my winning moment that was my winning moment <laughs> it was my winning moment oh my god that's like one of the best feelings in this world oh my god i was so excited like almost the whole year of planning and everything turned out so beautiful i'm still trying to process it <laughs> i'm still trying to process that it was so beautiful the decorators everybody in the hall every present in the hall at that time came close to look at it i was happy happiest person in the world i was excited my team felt like i mean we felt relieved I, I can't describe it it was magical reactions <laughs> people's reactions like i said the reaction started after setup 4 a.m after setup i mean i got a little reaction that was like just the tip of the tip of the iceberg you know i went home i rested i think i rested for like one and a half hours i didn't sleep that night oh my god and you know i got dressed i went back to the venue i got to the venue before the event started to take proper videos and pictures of the work and all of that immediately people started coming into the hall everybody like almost everybody walked up to the cake to take pictures to express how amazed and how they've never seen something that big and beautiful the photographers everybody they were just taking pictures even celebrities you know you know big people you see on instagram now everybody was walking up to my cake to take a picture with the cake like i've never ever experienced such people wanted to take a picture of me with the cake i'm like okay <laughs> you know i enjoyed the spotlight my cake stole the show 
my cake literally so stole the show. If you stand at the back, at the entrance of ICC, you can spot it clearly from the entrance. And you know how big, ICC is quite a very big um, venue. You can spot the cake. Everybody was happy. The bride, oh my God, her reaction is priceless. It's something um, to get a task done. And it is another thing for the client to love it. She loved it. She loved it. I was so happy. I was so happy. She loved it. Everybody loved it. All the celebrities. Before I could blink, the cake was everywhere online. Every, like I mean everywhere. Everywhere. It was everywhere. I was so excited. It made everything worth it. The sleepless nights, the troubles, the nervousness, the stress. Oh, it made everything worth it. And already, in fact, as I'm speaking, I have a lot of messages I've never, I can't even keep up. I've not responded to, uh, I've been getting a lot of messages, a lot of calls on wedding cake. You know, what something like this does for your brand is, on a good day, people would hardly walk up to you to order something they haven't seen you do before. You know, I mean, my bride was kind enough to order something she has never seen me do, and I pulled it off. I'm happy. So, you know, when, some, when people see something like that, they don't have any doubts, like all doubts erased, number one. So, like, imagine somebody is working on an elaborate wedding cake and they're thinking, you know, who can pull it off? They won't even think twice before they come to you. That's number one. Already, I'm already in talks with two people who also want an elaborate castle cake for their wedding. One is even in Ghana. You know, I'm hoping, like, all things being equal, you know, if we agree and all of that. But, I mean, even aside that... You know, we've had so many others, like a lot of others between then and now. We have people sending, on, sending us um, pictures of big, huge, elaborate wedding cakes. You know, we have people, in fact, even at the venue, I have people who walked up to me to say, can you come to Lagos? Can I, can I bring, it, bring you to Lagos for an event I have? You know, so things like that. People believe more in my brand. People believe, oh, there's nothing, there's no tax we give this uh, company that they cannot achieve. You know, and that means a lot to me. Of and course. I slept and woke up 24 hours later. I have 10,000 more followers. Even, I think 12,000. 12,000 more followers. That, that is a lot. That means a lot. It's going to add up to more customers. It's added up to more recognition and um, every other thing that follows. The story is on all the blogs. That is what all Nigerians, like everybody, is talking about. And, you know, I've had people call me, even distant friends. <laughs> Like some distant friends, you know, they call me to say, oh my God, you did so well. I'm so proud to know you. I'm so proud to associate with your brand. You know, everywhere they go, they let people around know that I know the person that did that cake. I know the company that did that cake. And I, I mean, that's, that is what any business would ask for. What I will do differently? Not much. Not much. Well, I mean, we learn every day. This project was a learning process for me. And uh, of course, I will not admit that every, everything went perfect. I will not say everything went 100%. Okay, there are some things that would have done easier, actually, that would make the work faster and all of that. So I think when, when next I'm handling a project like that, I would avoid baking like really huge pieces as a single tier, you know, because the lifting was challenging. So it's going to be more like um, smaller bits than fitted together at the venue or maybe work, work at the venue. That's not so easy anyways, you know. So, I mean, I would avoid making a very huge cake as just one cake to be lifted. That's for sure. And um, I, that's about it. Every other thing, I'll do the same. I don't have any regrets. Hmm. My favorite detail on the cake, I would have to say, 
is the entrance. I mean, if you look at the cake from any angle, there's a story to it. There's a feel to it. You know, it feels like you're, if you're by the side, it feels like you're by the side of a, of, of a castle, of a life-size castle. Okay, not a life-size, of a castle and all of that. Then um, in front, at the entrance, we have a lot of detail. And then, you know, where we have the fountain to the entrance, we have like the cherubim by the side of the fountain and then the horse carriage and the horses running towards the entrance. I think that's my favorite part, you know, because you just have this feel, like it gives you goosebumps, you know, and for everybody that saw the cake, they actually took a picture of that part, right? The entrance to the castle. Hmm, my message to the newlyweds, hmm. I'm a fan of their love, <laughs> like I mentioned earlier. When I look at them, when I look at their relationship, they are crazy about each other. They, they respect each other so much. They are happy with each other. Like I see, when I look at them, either physically or online, I see nothing but joy. I see nothing but love, you know, and it's... It's amazing. Like what they share is amazing. Um, you know, there's nothing I want to say that has not been said by people who are wiser, like pastors and all of that. But um, I wish them a lifetime of love. I wish them a lifetime of happiness. I wish them favor, God's favor in their marriage. Their children will make them happy. They will conquer the world together. They will break new grounds together i wish them more success because they are, they have touched the lives of many through this wedding like i'm a living witness i was there so there's uh, there's even know how somebody like that god will not choose you to favor you i'd like to say a very big thank you finally to everybody i mean everybody who reposted everybody who shared this either on their story or on their platform Everybody will send messages to so everybody will call. In every way, I say thank you. And uh, I would also like to say thank you to my husband. You know, he stood by me through all of this. I mean, we, we literally did that cake together till the end. We stayed all night in ICC together. So I would like to express my gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to our old followers on Instagram, to our new followers on Instagram. I'd like to say thank you. And if you have watched this video up to this moment, please hit the subscribe button below. Please subscribe to our channel. We have lots of interesting um, things coming up on this channel that we're working on. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tag your friends, send the link to people and Please, most importantly, remember to subscribe. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.